हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग एंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एस ए पी एम एम राजीव एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज वी विल गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अबाउट द डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट प्रोक्योरमेंट इन एस ए पी एम एम एस फरहाना सिस्टम सो वॉट इज डायरेक्ट प्रोक्योरमेंट एवरीथिंग वॉट एवर वी परचेज दैट गोज इन टू अवर एंड प्रोडक्ट ओके वॉट एवर द प्रोडक्ट वी आर मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड आवर एंड प्रोडक्ट लेट से वी कैन टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ cookies that is biscuits and we are going i mean any industry who is making cookies let's take an example of parle ji they are making and manufacturing these cookies with the help of the combination of certain raw materials right these raw materials are wheat flour edible oil sugar chocolate powder etc and if that cookies is a combination of uh, some dry fruits as well then those dry fruits will also going to get included as a raw material for manufacturing the cookies so the purchase of these raw materials are directly getting consumed in the production line and our end product is manufactured right so whenever we are creating a purchase order with these raw materials and these raw materials are always have to be you know kept in an inventory wherein we are keeping all those our raw materials and not only these there may be hundreds of raw materials which are there which are responsible to get you know consumed blend and mixed so that we can convert them into our end product so hundreds of such raw materials the end the process of procurement of such raw materials are called as direct procurement because these raw materials are consumed directly into our end product right that there, there could be n number of example i have just given you the example of uh, just cookies we can we can also consider consider a very small example of uh, let's say amul cheese so cheese is manufactured with the help of milk some other preservatives maybe some uh, some kind of a edible oil as well so that the cheese uh, could be manufactured in a very you know uh, with a soft quality so the milk and the some preservative will going to act as a raw material for our end product cheese so the procurement team will going to purchase milk and the preservatives from the suppliers and these two items will going to be act as a direct material for our end product cheese now coming on to the indirect procurement whatever we purchase that doesn't go into our end product this indirect purchase has nothing to do with with our end product uh, whether it is amul cheese or whether, whether it is parle ji biscuit no but it definitely contributes to the day to day business running in our uh, organization it could be office stationery items uh, these office stationery items could be xerox papers staplers pen and pencils highlighters markers and uh, uh, some uh, some kind of you know punching machines and anything which helps our purchasing officers our managers team members executives to work smoothly with the help of these stationary items to perform their duties well in the office but these indirect materials have no any connection no any link with our end product which is being manufactured in the plant these indirect procurement could be any kind of you know services such as consulting services or a spare part of the machine or any trading program or any kind of you know gardening services or any kind of you know uh, audit services which we, we need to purchase from outside but these type of services or these type of stationary items are never going to be considered as a direct product because these items are not at all con contributing to the manufacturing of the end product right so this was the difference my dear friends between the direct procurement and indirect procurement in asforana system thank you for your attention my next video uh, will going to be uploaded soon yeah thank you very much and good day